Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so a question I've been seeing a lot is how are sales? Uh, what's selling right now? Um, let's see, I think in Ohio, they shut down schools. It was, I think that Friday, the 13th, or maybe that was that Monday, but they started the announcements, I think on that Thursday. So I'm gonna show you guys my sales from the Saturday after they shut down schools um, to this Saturday, which is today. Uh, everything that I've sold, I've got a lot of bread and butter, but I have a lot of bolos also. And I share, I don't typically share with you guys like everything I sold and I don't typically do it by the week. I just kind of pull out highlights but because everybody's kind of wanting to know what's selling right now, I'm just going to show you what I've sold. And it's kind of a mix, but there are some things that are clearly selling better right now because people are in their homes, you know, looking for things to do and stuff like that. So let's get started with a what sold video. And I hope you guys are all staying safe, getting lots listed. I know sales are down. Um, just list, list, list so you guys are ready when the economy picks back up and everybody's out doing normal everyday things again. So it's a really, really hard time for everyone. Um, you know, feel free to join my Facebook group. It's called Bolo Buddies. There's links down below in the description. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to post them there. You can also reach out to me personally through Facebook. Um, I'm happy to try to help and answer any questions that I can answer. Again, I know it's a tough time and everybody is going to have probably a little less sales. I don't know, maybe sales will pick up. So far, I, I, I'm still steady. Uh, I have highs and lows on Ebay's no matter what on Ebay's on Ebay, no matter what. I mean, it's just like a roller coaster ride for me. Some days are awesome. Some days are just horrible. So what I am right now, I've noticed everything's kind of steady. Today was super slow, but I just had a couple sales a little bit ago. So that's good. My fan just kicked on. So I'm curious to see if I get any blurry pixelated um, issues. I know that a lot of people are streaming right now because everybody's cooped up inside. So go out and support YouTubers. You guys watch their YouTube videos. A really hard time so um if you want to watch me awesome i've got tons of bolo videos but there's tons and tons of youtubers other resellers out there so go check them out now's a good time to check them out while you've got time on your hands all right i spent three minutes talking sorry i don't normally do that let's get to some bolos um all right here we go screen share screen share screen share where is it all right so the first item is major bread and butter but you know, I sold this right on the first day when things were, you know, they're starting to say schools are down and, you know, now restaurants are down, um, restaurants and what's the other thing. I feel like there's something else. Um, but yeah, anything like they're saying, stay home. I mean, we are not on a full lockdown, but you know, they're, it's highly recommended at this point. So, um, these, these two pair of shorts, I sold them for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. I pick up stuff like this at garage sales all the time. I bulk them up and then I'll do like a bulk buy. And I love stocking my Poshmark closet with kids clothes because people will bundle them. But because I have lists perfectly, I cross post to eBay and I just happened to sell this on eBay. So I took it and they left me awesome feedback. All right, this was a retail arbitrage. I picked this up on the actual Lane Bryant website. So typically when I buy things on there, I'm paying a little more. It's a retail arbitrage deal, you know. Um, I usually use a coupon. I'm gonna say I probably had between seven and eight dollars in this. And I took a best offer of $24 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Cacique Brawl. Again, same brand as the other swimsuit top I just showed you. Uh, this one I picked up at a discount store. I pay, uh, oh geez, what is it? I think there's six bucks plus tax. Um, this is a 34 H. So it is a plus size bra, but the band is a smaller size and a larger cup size. 
Um, so yeah, I do pay up for these, but they typically sell pretty well. They are, I, I usually say black lined, but they use a different color marker. I actually like the new markers they're using to, to mark them out. And that just prevents um, somebody like me buying it from the discount store and then returning it to the actual retailer. This one, again, $6. I took a best offer of 20 plus shipping. The next item are these Swix women's pants. They are a full side zip. I picked these up at a garage sale over the summer for $3. It's a part of my, I need to list all these clothes. I listed it and it sold like, I don't know if it was the next day or within two days. It sold super fast. $50 is what I sold them for. They do retail for $129 and the buyer paid the shipping. This little golf, mini golf set, um, I sold it for $15. I took a best offer. And again, I just pick these things up when I see them. It's been listed for a little while. I think that this probably sold because people are inside and they're wanting to play games and do activities. So, yep, I took a best offer of 15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I've showed this before, but I bought tons and tons of these. I've already sold 76. At this point, I'm just trying to get rid of them all. Um, I sold it for $9.71 plus shipping. So it is a bread and butter item. But if you take 76 times $9.71, that's a pretty good profit. I think I paid a dollar or $2 for those. Victoria's Secret Brawl. It's new without tags. Again, um, the, the labels are cut to prevent store returns. I sold this for $17 plus shipping. And I think I paid $3 for it. The next is this wire wrap bangle bracelet. I bought this at an estate sale. It was the last day I bought the entire table. I got a really good deal, so I probably have less than a dollar in this. I took a best offer of $26 plus shipping, and it is super, super cute. The next item I got was this USS hat, and I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents. I bought probably 30 or 40 hats from the same person. And most of them are this USS. Uh, bread and butter, they're not selling super fast. They're more of a long tail item. But if you can get them for 50 cents or a buck, I highly recommend it. I sold this one for $22 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1964 Red Riding Hood costume wolf mask. It's missing the nose. And I still sold it for $16 plus shipping. The next item is this patchwork, I think it's Hyro, tender take and play die cast train. I sold this for $17 plus shipping. It was a bulk uh, Thomas the Train buy that I purchased, so I probably had less than a dollar in it. The next item are these Shopkins. Uh, I did like a mystery lot of 50 and I sold it for $19.36 plus shipping. This Cacique baby doll, I picked this up at a discount store. I bought a whole bunch of them. I want to say they were between three and five dollars. I can't remember. I've had them a very long time because I bought a bunch of them. This is a really old listing. Um, I took a best offer of $14 plus shipping. Okay, these vintage Ken shoes. Um, I sold these for $20.35 plus shipping. They notified me today that I shipped the wrong ones and they were thanking me for the extras. And what happened is I think I shipped, I had two lots of Ken shoes and I think I shipped the other lot to the other person and they didn't complain. So I never knew that I shipped the wrong item and then this sold and I just grabbed what was left. And then they messaged me and told me that I shipped the wrong thing or actually, I think they thought that I shipped the right thing, but I was, I shipped extras. I don't know what they thought, but they ended up being happy and keeping the item. So it all worked out. But basically, I messed up and it all worked out. Both buyers ended up being happy and keeping the item. And I do wish that the first person would have contacted me and told me that, hey, you messed up. That way I wouldn't, would have taken down this listing, but it all worked out. And, both buyers were happy and all is good. The next item is this nylon power jewelry bead stringing cord. 
Um, I listed these, these sold really fast. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of $9. I had it up for auction for $12.99 and the offer came in like right after I listed them for nine bucks. And I'm like, okay, you know, I, I don't have a lot in it. I, it was a garage sale bulk jewelry buy and I got a huge bag full for like next to nothing. So I went ahead and took the $9 plus shipping. This Timex was a watch that my husband picked up. I don't know what he paid for it. He buys uh, watches all the time. He's a collector and he sold this one for $25 plus shipping. These shorts, I've had them forever. So I took an offer of $7.56 just to get them out of my store. I probably paid like a buck for them at Gabriel Brothers. It was either Gabe's or TJ Maxx. I'm not 100% sure, but I did not have much in them. The next item is this vintage skipper doll. I pick up vintage skippers and vintage Barbies whenever I can. This one is not a real desirable one. She's got a little bit of an issue on her leg. Somebody offered me nine bucks, so I took it. I probably had less than a dollar in her and the buyer paid shipping. This Pokemon pop sockets, I've sold 10 of these. I have two left. I took it. Actually, that one sold full price for $11.87. These were a Toys R Us buy. I I think I paid like a dollar something each. Okay, so here's a funny story. I had this in my basement for a very long time and I was like, I don't feel like listing it. So I put it in my car to take to the, the Goodwill or the Salvation Army or whatever. I, Goodwill, not Salvation Army. Um, and I was like, Courtney, just take it in and just sell it as a lot. You know, I mean, it's going to take you a little bit because you got to package it and, you know, find a box. I just didn't want to deal with it. So, like I said, it sat in my car for like a week, but I just could not bring myself to donate it. So I brought it back in and I listed it and it sold within a few, I, I think within a week, it sold really fast for $44 and the buyer paid shipping. So it's just a bunch of miscellaneous vintage Hot Wheels things. And I thought about separating it and selling the pieces separately, which might be what the person buying it's going to do. But I didn't want to try to put it all together. I don't know what goes with what. So I don't know. I'm glad I took it out of my car, though, because the $44 is going to come in handy right now, especially when sales are kind of dipping. This Boyd's Bear, I sold for $15.25 and the buyer paid shipping. Is a nice bear because it's expensive. And I'm like, oh, is this going to be a buyer's remorse case? So I will keep you guys posted on that, but I think they're going to be happy. It's a really nice bear. Okay. These beads again came with that lot um, that I picked up over the summer. And I sold these for a best offer of $20. I had it on auction. They offered me $20. So I just took it. Um, it's 35 bead strands. It's basically just crafters jewelry making stuff, which I'm doing really well on right now. Again, probably because people are home and looking for things to do. Now these swab sticks, it's kind of, um, I forgot I had them. I've had them for so long. Uh, I think I got them last summer at a garage sale. They were like two bucks for all of them. Uh, there's 250 in here. And again, they've just been sitting in my store. I literally forgot about them. Somebody offered me $14 plus shipping and I said, sure. So I took it and I'm guessing that these are probably coming in handy right now. The next item is this vintage Trendmaster Star Castle. It's um, a little locket. I sold this for $45 plus shipping. These are collectible. They're kind of like Polly Pockets, but they're Trendmaster Star Castle. So be on the lookout for those. The next item is another item, you know, again, I pick these up at garage sales. I usually will go up to the person at the garage sale and I'm like, what do you want to sell all of these clothes for? I make a bulk buy and then I usually lock them up, but this sweater was really cute. I sold it for $12.67 um, plus shipping. All right, these Chinese, I think it's boating or bouting. I'm not sure how to say it, but they're iron balls. They're, they chime and you kind of move them in your hand like a, I don't know if it's like a form of meditation or what. But in my recent thrift haul video, I passed on two of these because they had them at like six and $7. And I probably should have bought them. 
because these sold really fast for $35 and I've sold them in the past for 45, I think. I can't remember exactly what I sold it for, but I thought it was kind of a fluky thing and I got lucky. But these sold fast for 35. So I probably should have bought those from the thrift store. So definitely be on the lookout for these. Um, the buyer did pay shipping. So this is another playbill. Um, I did sell a, one of these on Mercari also. It was the same set. I had two sets. And um, I sold this for $40. And I did get a note from the buyer asking me to please wash my hands before I ship the item, which I was completely fine with. I messaged them back and told them, yes, I would wash my hands before I shipped. And this item shipped out, I think, today. So it is on its way to its new home. Sold it for $40 plus shipping. The next item is this Kansas uh, pennant. I took a best offer of $8. Um, I had less than a dollar in it. I bought a bunch of them at a garage sale. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Clinique Wrappings perfume. It is vintage. The lid's cracked. I sold this for $50. Buyer paid shipping. This is a part of that vintage thrift store um, perfume haul. I love, love, love selling vintage perfume. One of my favorite things to sell. So these sold today. They're vintage miniatures. I got these at a garage sale. I think it was over the summer. And they're just little miniatures. They were in a little Ziploc bag. I think I paid a buck for all of them. Um, I sent offers to Watchers for $18 and they accepted and they paid the shipping. This uh, Catherine's Brawl, it's a plus size brawl. I pay $5 plus tax for these at a discount store. Again, they are black lined. I sold this for $21.12 plus shipping. These shorts, again, were a retail arbitrage. I purchased them directly from the Lane Bryant website. So I probably had eight, probably eight or nine dollars. Um, I usually do it when they're having some sort of sale, like their clearance items, and then I use a coupon. And I sold this for $24.20. And the buyer paid shipping. And I have one left if anyone's interested. My link to my store is down in the description of the video. The next item I sold on Poshmark is this DC Comics Superman piggy bank. I picked this up at a garage sale really cheap over the summer. I sold this for $30 on Poshmark. Poshmark takes 20% and the buyer pays shipping. The next item is, again, a part of that crafter's lot that I was telling you guys about that I got over the summer for not much. I may have underpriced this stuff. I took a best offer of $58 for all of these. Um, again, I didn't have much in it and it sold the next day, literally the next day. The bad news is, is it was over five pounds. I think it was seven pounds. So I had to pay $7 extra in shipping. So my earnings on this were $46.40. And if you subtract the eight bucks that I had to pay in shipping, that brings that down quite a bit, which is kind of a bummer. But again, I got a really good deal on it. So all is good. It was a, it was a good buy. And I also sold this, I, th I don't know if it was the next day or the day after I listed it, but I sold these two lots for 35. So Posh took seven and I earned 28. And again, I might've had a couple bucks in it. So really good. The crafters jewelry making supplies are selling fast again, probably because people are home. This Kasik swim swim skirt, I picked this up at a discount store. It is new without tags. It is black lined. I sold it for fifteen dollars. Poshmark takes their twenty percent, and so that wasn't a huge profit. I probably, I think, I had around three dollars in this. This little photo charm thing came with a lot of jewelry that I picked up over the summer. Um, I, I guess I'm probably 25 cents in it and I sold it for 15 and the buyer paid shipping. This Victoria's Secret bra, I sold it for 19. I paid $3 for it approximately, give or take. And the Victoria's Secret stuff, it, it doesn't move super fast. It's kind of a long tail item. These American Eagle jeans are plus size 20. I got $25 for these. The buyer paid the shipping. Poshmark took 20%. So 
So I believe I got these at a garage sale for a couple bucks. What the reason these sold higher are because they are plus size and that's typically harder to find. The next item is this Carlos Santana perfume. This was from my thrift store vintage um, perfume buy. So I had about 30 some cents in it. Sold these, sold this for $37 with free shipping. So I did pay the ground shipping, which is around $7.50 approximately to ship. And Mercari takes 10%. This Anna Lee Raggedy Andy doll from 1997. I love picking up Anna Lee. They're very easy to recognize. They have the faces that look like this and they're felt. Uh, this one sold for $23 with free shipping and it sold pretty quick. I listed it on February 10th. The next item is this Nickelodeon Avatar. It's a Momo plush. I've had this listed since January. Um, plush is a little more long tail. It depends how you price it. I had this priced kind of high because I've done pretty good with the Nickelodeon avatars in the past. So I sold this for $33 with free shipping. It was part of a bulk buy at a garage sale. So I probably had a dollar or less in it. The next item I sold today, these are these Zelfs, Zelf Trolls. And you guys know that vintage troll dolls are a bolo. These are a great bread and butter item. So $15 free shipping. I got them at a garage sale. Um, I don't remember what I paid. I pick these things up for like, I bundle them up and get them really cheap. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Even if they're not the old trolls, they still sell. These vintage pogs sold today for $52 with free shipping. There's 270 of them. Took me forever to lay these out. They also come with the two carrying cases and um, the slammers. So yeah, $52 free shipping. I want to say I paid $5 for these at a garage sale. The next item are these zombie shelf sitters, which you guys saw in one of my recent thrift haul videos. I listed these on the 12th, so they haven't been listed really too long. Um, I sold them for $17 in free shipping. Okay, you guys also saw this in a recent thrift haul, so if you want to see what I paid for it, you can go check out that thrift haul video. Um, I sold this for $156 and free shipping. And I was actually doing my haul video and I messaged my friend Leah's bits and pieces. And I was just kind of taking pictures of the shelf because she's really good at identifying stuff. And I actually watched, walked past it and she's like, you need to go back. And she had sent me pictures of comps. On the aisle minus. So I ended up picking this up at a thrift store for go watch the video. I got a really good deal on it. And I sold it for $156 free shipping. So that was a super cool find. Um, this giraffe wood hand carved fork and spoon. It's kind of like a serving spoon. The one does have like a little chip here, down here. Uh, I picked these up at an estate garage sale. They were calling it an estate sale. I guess it was an estate sale, but it was like family run. And they had stuff outside in the garage, but they also had stuff inside. So yeah, I'd call it an estate sale. I uh, paid $2 for it and I sold it for $28 with free shipping. There was another set that I paid $2 for that I ended up having to throw away. I didn't even look at them and the whole top of them, I think they were drafts too, but like their ears were broken off. So I was really bummed about that. So I guess if you want to look at it, like I paid four for this, that's fine. <laughs> so $28 free shipping on that. And they sold really quick. Costume jewelry. Okay, you guys, if you're not watching my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I bought 344 pounds of jewelry on eBay to sell on eBay. If you watch, I have two videos, like when I went to pick it up and then the video where I weigh it. If you want to know like what I ended up paying for all of it, you can check out that video. But every Monday I'm doing a video of either unboxing or jewelry testing. Um, I have a video coming up where I test diamonds. It's the diamonds are not from this bulk buy, but, um, actually it'll probably have already posted by the time you guys see this video. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, but anyhow, I might post it tomorrow. I need to think about that. Maybe I'll post it Monday. Okay. 
moving on. Anyway, I sold this for $70 with free shipping. So basically what it was is I had two separate listings. I had an eight pound bag of wearable jewelry, which is this bag. And then I had a six pound bag of crafter stuff. Like everything is broken and you can use it for crafts or repair, repurpose, that type of thing. So eight pounds wearable, six pound crafters. I did have to pay, I think it was, I think I got this in a medium flat rate box. So what is that like $12, 12, 14? I can't remember. So $70 free shipping. So I did pay for the, the shipping on this and they left me great feedback. So they must have been happy with the treasures that they found. And uh, the next item was a two pound wearable lot. This I shipped in a flat rate box. Um, so I had, I think it was like $7 and 35 cents or something like that to ship $23 and free shipping is what I sold this for. Again, it's not, it's not a ton of jewelry, but, uh, they should still be able to do okay and make some money on that if they sell it individually, or maybe they just want it for themselves. I don't know. Maybe they saw a piece in there that stood out to them that they liked. The next item is this littlest pet shop. I did have this listed a while. Um, I started it pretty high and I ended up selling it for $130 with $30 shipping. The buyer did pay the shipping on this. Mercari takes 10%. Again, I think this probably sold because a parent is probably buying this for their kid because their kids are home from school to give them something, you know, to stay, stay busy. So there may be some rares in here, so I could be wrong. It might be a reseller buying it. I don't, I guess I don't know, but it, it was a pretty big lot. So $130 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this, these items up at garage sales and then I lot them together. I did have these individually. Um, you can see how they're kind of separated. I had them individually posted. Somebody wanted to buy all of them. I made it one listing and then they backed out. So I just kept it one listing. The next item is this I sold on Etsy. It's a Ceramica Exclesius. I can never say that. It's from 1985. It's um, Jesus praying. And you can see here on the bottom how they're marked. Um, I picked these up at a, it was at the Goodwill and it, I think I got like, gosh, I can't remember eight figures and they were, I think half off because it was Christmas considered a Christmas item. And I've done really well on these. You've probably seen them in some of my other what sold videos. Um, I didn't write down what I sold it for. I think I sold it for 45. Don't quote me on that, but it was right around there. So yeah, that is what has sold from the 13th. No, wait, I'm sorry. The 14th Saturday, the Saturday, March 14th to Saturday, March 21st. Those are my what solds. And again, I showed you guys everything. I don't typically do that. Um, if you like this format, let me know. Um, like I said, I usually cherry pick my listings and only show you guys, um, like eBay. I typically show together Poshmark. I typically show together Mercari and then Etsy are separate videos. But for this week, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what has sold since everything has kind of shifted and everybody's sort of on lockdown. So, um, yeah, I'd say a lot of jewelry, um, like crafters type things have sold a lot of toys, sold some brawls. I don't know. I think I'm still getting a good mix of sales. Um, what's to come as far as sales. I don't know. Um, I'll keep you guys posted, but, uh, somebody asked me in one of my video comments today, how are sales? So I just wanted to do this video to kind of give you guys an update of where I'm at. I do have a lot of listings, you guys. Um, if you look at the amount of listings and the amount of solds, I should be selling more. But um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And I'm thankful and feel blessed to have each and every sale that I get. 
So I'm just going to keep trucking along. I'm going to keep listing and I'm just going to hope that people continue to buy. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next video. See you soon.